Xiaomi is actively locking and disabling devices that are being sold in regions that are against Xiaomi's terms of service and policies. And right now, unless you bought your device locally, I would suggest that you don't reset your Xiaomi device. Hey guys, my name is Mitchell. I'm fluent in tech, so you don't need to be. And if you guys have questions about this, the best place to hit me up is on Discord or on Twitter, and I'll have links for all that stuff in the description. So the United States and other Democrat countries primarily have laws and stipulations against doing trade or doing businesses, doing business with a specific set of countries within the world because of political reasons. That includes uh, Cuba, Iran, Syria, North Korea, Sudan, or Crimea. Most of these countries on this list are countries that do not, that the rest of the world does not want to do business with because of political reasons. I was not necessarily aware of this till someone in my Discord community was telling me about how they live in Iran. And in Iran, Xiaomi devices are brought in basically wholesale unofficially from China, resold in Iran because there aren't a lot of companies that can legally buy or sell phones in Iran for very political reasons. Not that I agree with them, not that I disagree with them. I'm just wanting to present you guys with the information at hand. Now, it's been brought to the attention of some users that they have recently updated their phone, they have gone to reset their phone or do a factory reset of it, and they are now being brought with this unlocking, not allowed to unlock your phone in this specific area pop-up. It's a similar pop-up to what you have if you do a factory reset on a Xiaomi device, and that device has not been removed from your account, where the account activator needs to put in that password. The only problem is that you are not allowed to activate the device if you are in one of these countries. If you guys are liking this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. It massively helps me in the algorithm. And if you guys want more videos, hit the subscribe button. Will this necessarily break your phone on the spot right now? I would guess to say no. That's not what's happening. And if you're outside of any of these zones, you're probably gonna be okay. But this kind of comes back to the issue that Xiaomi has for releasing phones so much cheaper in China and releasing like really odd or interesting specific configurations of versions of phones that we have already. People then export them. They will do a badly translated version of the Chinese ROM. It'll never get updates. I did a couple of videos about like fake ROMs. I went on a date with a girl that had a China Redmi K30 and she didn't know about it and it was on a homebrew ROM that was then converted into Vietnamese because the China version of the ROM only has Chinese and English. And then in Vietnam, it was cheaper for this store to import that Chinese K30, do a homebrew ROM on it or like it was imported into Vietnam with a homebrew ROM and then it was sold to an end consumer who's now gonna have a suboptimal long-term software support experience. Xiaomi doesn't wanna export phones to specific regions because of the cost of legalizing it there, cost of setting up repair facilities there, because not only do you have to sell a phone in a specific region, you have to provide all kinds of after sales support. Xiaomi doesn't wanna do that and that's just kind of all part of the problem. I don't want anyone to freak out, but if you are in one of these zones, like I know I have viewers in Iran and I have some in like Eastern Europe, um, don't reset your Xiaomi phone because Xiaomi is now trying to more strictly enforce and follow these trade limitations put on by Western countries.